In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate arithmetic series using the general formula. Uh, this is so tough to do because I've uh, had four takes on this now. The first few were for typos, and the other one was because I don't know what happened, but apparently the production disappeared. So I am a rock star at teaching this, if nothing else, um, in math. Alright, so uh, to calculate an arithmetic series, this is the formula typically used. There's one or two variations of it out there, but I think they're ugly and I don't tend to use them, or I don't encourage others to use them. I personally feel like the reason the formula exists is to simplify a calculation, and if the formula itself makes the calculation more complicated than it should be, then it's not really worth having, is it? Alright, uh, I'm going to jump off my soapbox. Now, let me explain the individual parts of this formula, because it looks weird. All right, so n, right, we see that in there twice. That is the number of term of terms in the series. <coughs> okay, uh, basically, if I'm adding up, like, seven terms of some list, who cares where it starts and ends? Um, n is seven in that case. All right, S sub n, that's just the series of n terms. That's the actual summation. That's what it adds up to, the number. A sub 1 is the first term in the series, and A sub n is the last term of the series. Okay, so um, uh, we're going to go through an example um, right now and kind of show you what it is that I'm talking about here. All right, so um, I want you to determine the related series of the third five terms of a sequence given its rule. Now, um, for the sake of mathiness and uh, all things uh, academic, there is supposed to be an A in there. And God knows I've done enough takes of the video, I could have just popped it in there, but uh, I don't know why it hasn't registered to do that, so I'm just not going to do that. Alright, so um, this right here is the rule of the sequence. So, I need to find the third five terms added up. Okay, so the first five is the first through fifth term, obviously. Uh, second fifth would be, uh, well, second five would be six through ten. And the third five would be eleven through fifteen. So I know the first term of the series is the eleventh, which is a little weird, but uh, basically, I'm starting at the 11th, I'm adding up the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. So that's the last term of the series. Alright, so, let's start calculating this. First things first, let's find the first term, which in this case is actually the 11th term. So everywhere I see an N, I put an 11 in its place, and I get 162. That's where it goes. Okay, it pops right up there. Now, I find the 15th term, if you pardon the mistake in the animation. Um, everywhere I see an N, I put a 15 in its place, I get 222. Boom, that's where that goes. All right, so now the number of terms in the series is 5, because it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's everywhere I see an N, put a 5 in its place. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just adding the first and the last term, right? And taking n and dividing it by 2, and multiplying those numbers together. That's it. And I come out with 960, and that's the solution. So basically if I added up the 11th through 15th term of this sequence that's given by the rule negative 3 plus 15n, I would get 960. Uh, what does this mean? Well, all right, so here's the general rule of the sequence. So this is the sequence I've, I'm building here. And the longer way to do this would be if I looked at the whole sequence, everything, and added up the terms manually. So I'm going to go ahead and make my table here. Now, um, the way that I've always done the rule before is uh, that A sub 0 term is always this thing that's kind of just hanging out here. Okay. So the uh, negative 3 goes in there, and then each and every time, right, I'm adding, because that's what the plus is here, 15. All right, so I'm going to add 15. That gives me 12. And now I'm just going to keep on adding 15, 
and boom there we go now the only ones I'm actually looking at are 11 through 15 so I'm looking at those numbers I'm gonna go ahead and add all those up and I'll get 960 now this looked really quick but if I were to make if I were to draw the table and fill in everything uh, this would be way longer instead of just finding two numbers by plugging stuff in right I'm now making a list of 15 things and then choosing five of them and then adding them up um, and let's be real ain't nobody got time for that god that was physically painful to do I, I hope I hope that looked as ridiculous as it felt. Um, geez, um. All right, so some final notes on the formula. Um, a sub 1 is not to be confused with the first term of the sequence. Okay, it's not like we're finding the rule here. It's the first term of the series. Okay, so it's the first thing I start adding from. Uh, like in the example that we had, a sub 1 was not the first term of the sequence. a sub 1 was actually the 11th term in the sequence, which was 162. And in the formula, a sub n is not to be confused with the rule of the sequence. It's actually the last term of the series. So it has nothing to do with the sequence, necessarily. It has everything to do with of the series. That's what we're trying to calculate. Otherwise, we're talking about some nth thing, and it's just ugh, not worth doing. All right, good luck on the rest of these problems.